I drive a Mercedes, I have a BMW. I pull around with a Porsche and a Maserati occasionally. And the road That's called flamboyance, I mean. That's called style. <laughs> All right, style or flamboyance, whatever you may say. A lifestyle so fascinating, it attracted the attention of millions. A personality so glamorous, models and actresses would roam around like a bumblebee over flowers. Hi, I'm Vijay Malia and I love to party as much as you do. One of the most distinguished personalities of India, Vijay Malia, who was once on the seventh cloud with his business empire, soon plummeted to earth. I wish I knew. Second March 2016. Vijay Malia was in the news when he fled to Britain during the time when Enforcement Directorate or ED was behind him due to money laundering of over 9,000 crores in the form of bank loans. So what exactly was this 9,000 crores fraud and how did Malia manage to fly away even with ED behind him? Was he only limited to your knowledge of him being a scammer or was he more than that? Watch till the end to know everything about Vijay Malia and his scam. Also, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Vijay Malya was born on December 18, 1955 in Kolkata. He was the only son of Indian entrepreneur and chairman of the United Breweries Group, Vittal Malya. When Vijay was just 28, his father passed away and he took hold of the business. He expanded the business in different streams and his enthusiasm in sports was shown to the world when he bought his own cricket team, Royal Challengers Bangalore, in the IPL. Since a very young age, Malia was in love with racing and in fact, he later also formed his own Formula 1 team namely Force India in October 2007. I feel very very proud as an Indian uh, and I've always dreamt of a Formula 1 race in India. It will showcase India as a modern vibrant nation um, and, and I can't tell you how proud I am today. Vijay Malia in 2010 also became a part of the upper house that is a Rajya Sabha member. Hi. Malia, having been elected a member of the Council of States, do swear in the name of God that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established, and that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India, and that I will faithfully discharge the duty upon which I am about to enter. But resigned just before his second term was about to end in 2016, when he was facing a case of loan default. He had an honorary degree of Doctorate of Philosophy in Business Administration from the Southern California University for Professional Studies. Essentially because I think that there is nothing better than the beauty of learning. I am today what I am because I have recognized the need to learn on a constant basis. Malia also earned awards such as Officier de la Légion d'Honneur, a high award of recognition in France, Global Leader for Tomorrow by the World Economic Forum, an Entrepreneur of the Year Award at the Asian Awards. These were a few of his achievements, from expanding business to serving in the upper house, from owning a sports team, a Formula One team, to receiving so many awards. But there is one name we didn't mention yet, the name directly associated with the Indian tycoon, Kingfisher. Welcome aboard Kingfisher Airlines. From the day we've started flying, I've tried to create the finest experience for you and bring back the element of style in travel. This is where it becomes interesting. Kingfisher beers are sold in several countries, but it was Kingfisher Airlines that led to Malia's downfall and later what you would say, a scam. Kingfisher Airlines started in 2005 with the vision of making it the best 5-star airlines in India. Newly bought aircrafts, beautiful flight attendants, free meals during flights and in-flight entertainment made Kingfisher a whole new experience in budget. Kingfisher also had separate first-class department with free liquor service. All these facilities made it a choice of both middle class as well as business class or rich travelers. Malia, however, was not just satisfied by domestic routes of his airlines and wanted to expand to international routes. Kingfisher, however, didn't complete five years and was not eligible to do so. This led to acquisition of Air Deccan by Malia to fulfill his goal and in 2008, Kingfisher got permission to fly on international routes. And I also put a condition that uh, these airlines must be separate. Uh, brands must be separate, airline, airline must be separate. So he agreed to all those conditions. In 2009, Kingfisher became one of the leading airlines in India. However, things not always are what they seem to be. Despite acquiring Air Deccan and getting permission to fly internationally, Kingfisher was in heavy losses. Maybe I was a little naive, maybe I, I took him at his word. A lot of people told me who were close to him that uh, 
uh, look, he's, he, has, he has already made up his mind to change the airline's name. You know, he wants to change the brand, he wants to change the model, he wants to make it to one airline. So I was shocked. To run the company still, Malia took loans from several banks, including SBI, IDBI, PNB, etc. To cope up with the expenses, Kingfisher didn't pay employees their salary, held passengers service tax, PF and income tax of the employees and did not pay it to the respective departments. A Canadian research firm named the Veritas Invest published its article called A Pie in the Sky in which it mentioned how Kingfisher Airlines was in heavy debt and losses but it did not disclose it to the public. Malia later in an interview slammed Veritas saying it had a lot of factual errors. I'm rather surprised actually that uh, the so-called Veritas report is being so extensively quoted. Uh, frankly, I've never heard of Veritas. It's a shame that there's been so much attention paid to the Veritas report, which contains a lot of glaring factual inaccuracies. Eventually, on 20th October 2012, Kingfisher Airlines was shut and its license was cancelled. It is said that it was also little negligence from the banks as they lent loan to Malia's Kingfisher only on its trademark, reputation and future project plans even after Veritas report and SBI declaring Kingfisher as NPA. Debt is a part and parcel of business. If indeed what the media was saying was correct, my banks would panic first. But my banks are willing to lend me more money because the banks know the fundamentals having done their due diligence on my businesses. My track record is flawless. I pay back my debt. Malia also used these funds to support his IPL team Royal Challenges Bangalore and Force India, which we mentioned earlier. He ran these when employees of Kingfisher did not get their salary since months. Several employees came out in protests and one of an employee's wife committed suicide clearly mentioning in a note that her husband didn't get salary since six months causing tough conditions for them. Our Kingfisher has kept salary for so many years. Now we know that Mr. Malia is going to leave the country. After that, we have asked our salaries, who will give us our salaries, who will give us our salaries. Experts believe there were several mistakes that led to this downfall, especially acquiring Air Deccan. Malia, on the other hand, claims that recession of 2008 led to this, and also fuel prices became too expensive. Few people know that Malia offered an amount of 4,000 crores for settlement, but lenders demanded at least 4,900 crores. I have already expressed my willingness to settle with the banks. A settlement offer was proposed to the Honourable Supreme Court of India, which obviously means it was a very serious offer. Now, the Supreme Court has directed the Debt Recovery Tribunal uh, to dispose of the main matter in two months. But notwithstanding that legal process, my offer for settlement stands. Majority of Kingfisher breweries has also been sold and several of his assets, including Kingfisher Villa, has been auctioned. In early 2016, when Malia was warned about his arrest, he flew to Britain on 2nd March 2016, mentioning it was just a regular business trip to London. Vijay Malia is still fighting his case in UK to avoid extradition to India. I'm here to watch the game. Thanks for watching till the end. Peace!